guys, welcome back to Cheers. We have a favorites video for you today for the month of January 2020. What's up, what's good? <laughs> been a minute since I know. we did one of these. Good job, we got through the first month <laughs> of the decade. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you want to see what our favorites are for the month, then just, just keep watching. Okay, so my first favorite for January 2020 is the BC Dation by Tony Moly, and I've literally been using this Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. All day. All day. All day. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, ironically, I'm not wearing it today. So oh, what are you wearing today? My yeah. Maybelline fit me. Because uh, I was just like, I, I haven't worn it in a long time. So oh, I just want to try. But I've been wearing this seriously like every single day. I'm pretty sure it's like not very full. Yeah, it's like up to here now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, Charlie is in the background oh. <laughs> playing with his toy. And we're just gonna let him do him. So if you hear like squeaks or like rustles, rustles that's Charlie. <laughs> Shout out to Barkbox. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just been loving this, especially like in this cold weather because it's been keeping my crustiness at bay. And um, a lot of people don't know, but when it starts getting like really cold and lots of cloud cover and sometimes even snowy, like you need that sunscreen boost. So I've just been like loving this for that. And if I'll, there's a more in-depth video, I can link it up in the cards for you. But yeah, this is my first fave. I saw her wear it the first day, and her <laughs> skin was looking so glowy, I'm telling so you, dewy. Try. I'll just take it with me tonight. <laughs> honestly, it probably fits your my skin complexion now because you got yeah. a little bit of a. I just came back from Mexico. <laughs> guys. You, got, you might not be able to tell because I'm still, according to Chanel's mom, pasty. <laughs> But you know, I tried my best, okay? <laughs> She's like pasty. I mean, pale, fair. No, she was like, I usually like your pasty skin. I mean, porcelain skin. <laughs> but anyways, oh, so if you are interested in how I obtain my pasty skin, <laughs> um, I think I attribute a bit of this to actually the ColourPop 4-3 Beauty Radiate Vitamin C. And um, I just shook it up a little bit, but before I shook it up, there was like separation. Separation, yes, thank you. <laughs> of like the oil and like the serum, and there's like a bit of a pink color, and this they consider this to be an elixir. Mm -hmm. And I really like this because not only does it have vitamin C components, which everyone knows is like great for antioxidants, anti-aging, and brightening, but because it does have that bit of oil in it, it's super hydrating. And so um, I just like put some onto my skin and I tap it in. And honestly, I feel like I can stop my skincare right then and there. What? So I usually take this like after like my toner and then I'll do um, my essence. eye cream and then one essence and then this. And I feel like I don't even have to go in with the moisturizer because I just feel that moisturized. Let me smell this. <laughs> yeah, it smells oh, like, it just smells like oranges. Oh, that smells good. I want to drink this. That's, I don't recommend. Wait, because the other, remember the vitamin C serum we got off of Jolse a mm -hmm. while back? That one, it was really good, but it was so dry. Yeah, so <laughs> this one is like a lighter of a formula, so that's why I'm a little bit hesitant to, to say that this is the only reason why as to why my skin is maybe brightened or more even complexioned, mm -hmm. because I am also using Misha's Time Revolution as well, and I've been kind of having that on the back of my mind in regards to like, whether this is the one that's helping or it's the Misha one. So um, I'm kind of going back between the two and I'll give you guys a review on that later. But yeah, I've been really liking this one specifically for the oil and moisturizing properties. I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see a little bit of the oil properties there if you zoom into it a bit. And this is like obviously supposed to be something that helps to enhance your skin for radiance and a brighter more luminous complexion and, and i must say i feel radiant and who I don't want luminous. that yeah. <laughs> illuminate <laughs> illumination, oh. illumination. <laughs> um i'm actually gonna go in with another facial oil that i've just been like dying for maybe living for what are the words anyways <laughs> moisturizing the one that's better um it's the eliza vecca farmer piggy rose hip oil and it's a hundred percent rose hip oil and i've just been using this like to top off like my whole skincare routine so i'll go in with the atomy i'm still using the six system don't hate okay i'm not gonna be wasteful I'm gonna use it all. 
Um, so I've, I just do that whole thing and then um, top it off with this. I just pat it in. I do like two to three drops for my whole face. You don't need a lot. But um, it's been keeping my skin so moisturized. I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, I don't even need any lotion. Like, I, it's like Is so it not scented? Mm -mm, it's just rosehip oil. Oh, so that's awesome for people with sensitive skin yes, then. Yes, I've been loving it. Because like, seriously. <laughs> usually, like, I'm really surprised. I expected, like, a really strong rose smell to it because Korean products are known for, for being scented. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have that. It's just 100% rosehip oil, like Chanel said. Mm -hmm. So that's And I've awesome. just been, like, loving it. I have, like, usually in the wintertime, I experience, like, some dry patches and things like that. But with this... Nothing. Really? Absolutely wow. nothing. And I've been using like the uh, HA like exfoliators, uh -huh. the chemical exfoliator. So um, I kind of do that like once a week and then I'll do my, you know, skincare system every day and then this at night. So good. Do you prefer this over the Pixie Oil one? I do. I like this This one is way cheaper better. too though, right? Yeah. Because Pixie's like 20 bucks, I think. Mm hmm. And then this and is, that one has rosehip oil in it too. But it has other like botanical things yeah. in it, I think. But I think like moisturizing wise this is better also cheaper so yeah. get you some mm -hmm. <laughs> okay my next one is gonna be the new um a new sponge that i've been using it's a little <sighs> used, used right now <laughs> but mm -hmm. i've been using this for the past like two months or so and at first like i didn't like i i loved I feel like the feeling it of it right it feels so good and then i got a little bit mad at it because when i <laughs> I'm used to the real technique sponge that I've been using for the past like three, four years. Like I literally haven't used any other sponge besides this one. It's good. <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, I'll just give this one a try. This one's from Morphe. And I wanted to try this shape because it has like the thick side and then it has the tapered side. It's basically side. two boobs. One's lopsided. Oh, that's, or just like one boob. Okay, for you. <laughs> and this is the nipple. Hashtag itty bitty dinner committee. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, but I really like this because I think it's softer in terms of texture. It is, yeah. Than the, like, than um, the real techniques one. Less pores. Yeah, it must be that or something. Like, if you just feel it, it feels so soft. It's like velvety. Uh huh. But I think, like, I didn't realize that it was so soft, like, that it would maybe be a little bit more delicate because mm. when I wash, my real technique sponge i literally just put it on a bar of soap and like go into it mm -hmm. i did the same thing with this one and it started actually getting like tears oh, no. there like the first time i did it yeah so i was a little bit upset it does with feel a little softer yeah but i mean in terms of like blending and like the feel on the face and i really like the extra bounce that you get with this aspect where it's tapered here so yeah the shape like can you see how it's like, like a slinky uh, yeah or like exactly accordion like a, <laughs> or what's it called like <laughs> like a, it's like almost like a shock absorber or something kind yeah. of like that. a spring essentially <laughs> that's what they're called <laughs> <laughs> um and i've been really enjoying it like i was doing my makeup with my sister one day like facetiming her and i was just like pa, 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 pa. and she was like you're beating your face. I was like, yeah, but it's like feels really good. My last favorite is another hydrating product and it's by Laneige and it's a lip sleeping mask and I got it in the berry flavor. So <sighs> smells good. Yeah. Let me smell it. <laughs> the smell is like I to me like it smells good, but I've smelled better, you know, can I see the consistency? It's really thick. So when you open it, there's a little like safety seal like that and it pops off and then the product inside is like a super thick balm and I've used a lot of it I use it every night and um, it comes with this really cute little spatula it looks like one of those to go like eyeshadow mm -hmm. sponges but um, it's silicone at the end Ooh, I like that so it keeps everything pretty sanitary and you like scoop it out of here it's real thick it's like similar to I wouldn't even say Vaseline because Vaseline's like more goopy. This is very like just thick. Mm -hmm. And um, here, I'll show it to you on the back of my hand. So it's just really thick and super moisturizing and I've been loving this. Like, yeah. And when you like wake up, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning after wearing this at night, like your lips look like you got Botox. Really? Yeah. Oh, like, it's like, 
it's like, like a little bit pink no not even really the, it's so sheer like they have different colors there's blue green pink because i think i got the sample version of this and uh -huh. when i wake up with it my lips are a bit pinker than oh, usual not well mine are so pigmented maybe i can't i can't tell on me mm -hmm. sorry, <laughs> sorry <it's so> <laughs> no i'm like i have really dark lips you know that <laughs> um but it just like smooths out all your lines like i have lots of little fine lines in my lips so when i wear this um during the night and I wake up like those fine lines like diminish a lot and it's just gives you a really smooth look that just looks a little bit more plumper than usual mm -hmm. so I've been loving this and even when it's not nighttime and not time for bed like I'll still wear this like if Dang. my lips are super crusty all the time uh, <laughs> I'll just like put a really light layer of this on and it's like a game changer my last favorite is a real techniques product and it's the buffing brush and I've been really 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 loving this brush for like what's it called stuffed br blushes like compacted pressed blushes like powder yeah pressed powder oh yeah I'll like go in with a pressed powder blush and actually buff it into my skin that way or even with a cream brush blush <laughs> or even with a cream blush on to the back of my hand and then warm it up there and then pick up the product and then apply it with this. Hmm. But like for any blush product, I've been loving it. Oh, I've yeah. never used that brush for blush before. What do you use it for? Foundation. Really? I used to use it for foundation, but I really like the Clinique foundation brush that I got and I did it in a different monthly the stipple one, right? Yeah, that one's so bomb. But this one I've been really loving. Like it just, I don't know, like, something about it something about it but obviously if you do use this one the color of the blush does come out a little bit stronger mm. um but i don't mind that because i really like like i really like me some blush yeah and then if it's too strong then i'll just go back in with my sponge and use the leftover foundation on there just to kind of blend it all out right yeah nice. so highly recommend you trying it or just getting this for whatever you know foundation blush it's just a it's really versatile. good all around brush. yeah <laughs> Okay, well, those were our January favorites. And we thank you so much for making it to the end with us. If you liked this video, then be sure to give it a like. And if you liked us, then give us a subscribe <laughs> to our channel. <laughs> Ring the notification bell so that you're notified when we post new videos. And as always, cheers, cheers to a good, good week, week, guys. Bye! Bye.